friends, Brian here for Yes You Can Play Guitar, and I want to give a special shout out to my good friend Repo Bob. I'm going to do a reaction to one of Repo Bob's suggestions that he posted in the comments. And this one's very exciting for me. This one is Lisa X. Apparently it was a child prodigy who just turned 19, but she did a video when she was 8 playing Scarified from Racer X. We we're going to do a reaction to that. And I gotta tell you guys, I love Racer X. You guys have probably seen in my Love Bites reactions. Love Racer X, guys. Big fan of Paul Gilbert and Bruce Bouillet back in the day. I would get a lot of my inspiration for my sweep arpeggios. Or the really fast picking stuff. Paul Gilbert and Bruce Bouet and Racer X. So I'm really excited to check this one out. Thank you, Repo Bob, and let's see what's up. All right, let's check it out. So she's eight years old here, so this would have been 11 years ago, so we're looking at what, 2013? Seems like such a long time ago. Let's check it out. Eight years old. Oh my gosh, so first off, that's a pretty big task for at any level of musician, let alone an eight-year-old. So my God, at eight years old, she uh, kicks my ass all over the place on guitar. So if she's eight there, I can only wonder what her playing is going to be like now at 19. So Repo Bob, I think we're going to do a reaction to some of her newer stuff. Uh it's kind of funny, and I got to talk at length about this because, you know, I still give guitar lessons in person. That's part of how I make my living. Uh, I have a much smaller roster now than I, I did back when she was recording that video. I had uh, quite a large number of students, um, a lot of bills, a lot of financial pressure back in those days. Um, 
But, you know, for me now, and I hate to tell you guys this, but my cutoff age when I give lessons now is about 12. I had a kid start a couple of weeks ago. He was 10, but I, was, I, I met the mother, have an agreement. Uh, it just amazes me now in this day and age. I know that this is uh, over 10 years old, but when you see kids that young, so dedicated to their practicing in an instrument because uh, times have changed, folks. People want things really quick. You know, leveraging commitment out of people, <laughs> guitar lessons for a lot of different things. It's, it's very difficult in this day and age. People want things yesterday. And she's put in a lot of work. You know, I, I remember back in the mid-2000s when, you know, the Xbox came out. I mean, there was video games before that, of course. But the Xbox came out and then the Xbox 360. And, you know, you put the Xbox 360 and Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, on one uh, with a big screen TV and a controller on one side of the room. And the other side of the room, you have like a little music stand. You have a metronome. You have a notebook, some tabs, uh, some chord diagrams and a guitar and an amp. Usually the kid's going to go with the Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is we're just in a different age, so I really get a lot of joy when I see these kids and teenagers now who are just phenomenal musicians, you know, breaking down boundaries, you know, and it's, that's one of the things, too. We have, with music, you're going to keep seeing better and better and better musicians because they have more influences to draw from. You know, back, if you're coming up in the 70s, <laughs> On guitar, well, what were your influences? Well, they were probably the guitar players, the hot guitar players from the 60s. Same thing with now the 80s, even more technical, better guitar players came out because then they had more, more guitar players to draw from from the 70s. So uh, it just brings a lot of joy to my heart. Racer X is a very special band to me. You know, I have this weird thing that I, I tell people about is some music is magical to me. And that album, Second Heat from Racer X, it used to just... I would marvel at the guitar playing. Uh, they were all amazing musicians, actually. But I would marvel at the guitar playing, but it was the songs. It's, it's one of those albums you could just put on, and it kind of takes you away on this trip. You know, you forget reality for a while. Um, you go through different periods in your, in your life where that's very important. But, um, you know, they're extreme volume live. You know, I had that album. I had a cassette of that album, and I lent it to a guy I worked with, and he never returned it to me, Mark Ravel. Um just an amazing band with very magical music. You know, there's different albums. It's kind of weird because when you study an instrument and you become more proficient, more and more proficient, you kind of want to learn a lot of the music from the people that you admire. But then some music is so magical that you're like, you know, I don't know if I really want to lift the hood up on this and see, you know, the chords and the melody. And sometimes I just want to just listen to it. Um, and now for a song like Scarified, I did learn quite a chunk of it many, many years ago, but now at my age, just trying to remember all those notes would just be like a chore, but, uh, good on her, man. Good on her. And for my generation, it brings me a lot of joy when I see these young kids really putting a solid effort and commitment into the instrument because, uh, you know, with the internet, it's made the world a bit of a smaller place in a way so we can have more access to seeing kids like this, but in daily life around here, like, I'm probably not going to see too many kids at eight years old that are really going to put that kind of work into the guitar at eight years old. So it gives me hope for the future and it warms my heart and it gives me a lot of joy. And plus it's Racer X, one of my favorite bands of all time, two of my favorite guitar players of all time. In fact, I've thought about uh, maybe doing an interview with Bruce Bouillet sometime. What do you guys think? Should I contact Bruce and ask him if he wants to do an interview sometime? I would love that. What do you guys think? And thanks again, Repo Man. And uh, guys, again, comment below, post your suggestions below. And uh, we'll go from there. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. And all the support means everything. Thank you for subscribing and watching and tuning in. Practice hard, but practice smart. And we'll see you soon.